you want to have an economical and safe adventure in Southeast Asia, Dragon Dance, a CT-41 sailboat, monohull, will serve that purpose. Dragon Dance is a CT-41 built in 1978 by Tao Chao Brothers in Taiwan. The designer was Bill Gardner and she's currently in Malaysia. With the bowsprit, she measures 47 feet. The bowsprit was replaced in 2013 with Chang'e wood from Malaysia. She has two anchors, a CQR and a Danforth. Um, the CQR is 65 pounds and 60 meters of chain and 100 meters of rope on the second anchor. She's a beautiful GRP boat with a classic wooden boat lines. She is ready to, to sail away into the sunset with a semi-full keel that offers excellent sea maneuvers. The cockpit is open and inviting in entertainment with a wooden table that attaches to the helm. There are davits with a tender and an outboard. Safety equipment on board includes a life sling, life ring, eight life jackets, three fire extinguishers, flares, and two bilge pumps. Not pictured here are the blue cushions that cover the entire cockpit area, making it roomy, comfortable, and great for guests and cruising. The back Lazarus has lots of storage and includes two gas tanks and the, uh, for propane and a box for the tank in use. There are two other storage areas on the port and starboard sides with lots of storage. The starboard side has easily accessible uh, autopilot and also the fridge component, which are easy to fix. Notice that the wiring has been housed in railing. This was done in 2009 and is throughout the entire boat. The helm has beautiful teak wood flooring, a Ritchie magnetic steering compass, New Ray Marine Electronics, which were added in December of 2013. Uh, an older chart plotter that can be used as a backup. There is a new display, radar, GPS, chart plotter, AIS transceiver, fish depth finder, uh, and info that can be sent wirelessly to an iPad. This box houses instruments for the Yanmar diesel engine that was added in 2009. It has just over 200 hours on it. The wind indicator is also here. There are three plus two two-speed Barlow Lumar winches. Dragon Dance is set up for cruising and, enter and entertaining in the tropics with a full bimini, a dodger, and covers for all of the hatches. Down below, she has a roomy salon, nav station, and galley area. Woodwork is beautiful with a dragon and Chinese characters that translate into wishes for a smooth sail. There is lots of storage on both the starboard and port sides of the galley, and the windows above the sink make the galley a nice place with a nice view while you're doing cooking or cleaning. The head has a separate full stand-up shower, which keeps the head dry when you're showering. And there's a modern bowl sink, and it's well laid out.
you can see the space looking aft in the salon. Access to the engine is also in this area. The Yanmar engine is easy to maintain. It has numerous panels and you can literally open it up so you have 360 degree access. Um, with more serious jobs, you can take lots of the panels off and work all around the engine. She has a hot water heater system that can be heated with electricity or with the engine. There's also spare emergency water pumps which are built in and the entire boat was replumbed with Whale Brand Marine Plumbing. She has a VHF radio, CD player with speakers. Uh, this is the Marine, Ray Marine plotter that has wireless to the iPads. Uh, here is an electrical panel and the boat has a 12 volt 220 system. This cabinet houses a master volt battery charger and inverter. All house and starter batteries were replaced in 2014, and there is a backup battery that stays constantly charged. The ladder in the companionway pulls up to access more storage. There is a small electrical fridge in here, a little more storage under the ladder. In the galley is a top entry isotherm fridge, fresh water cooled with a shelf, small amount of storage, she also offers plenty of storage, a microwave for glasses, and a three burner cooktop with a gimbaled stove. A stainless steel sink with a nice cover that offers more counter space. And she also has plenty of other storage in the galley. On the port and starboard sides of the saloon area are large storage cabinets, drawers, and deep cabinets. This is the identical on the other side of the boat. The salon also allows lots of light with a classic hatch and lots of brass fixtures that give it a nice traditional feel. The master berth has a pull-out bed that converts into a full-size bed. Under the berth are three large storage areas. There is a portable air conditioner that works on shore power. The boat can sleep four people comfortably. We've had as many as five on a long trip. The bow of the boat has another small cabin that we use for storage. Both 75 gallon diesel tanks were replaced in 2013 along with a 120 gallon water tank, um, all stainless steel.
The boat also has an Aries wind vane and two solar panels that are not currently attached. Here she is before we painted the blue on the railings. With, uh, she comes with sails included our main mizzen, a storm stay sail, uh, an additional main for a backup, um, and also a cruising spinnaker. The head sail furling system is a Schaefer. She's a heavy cruising boat, safe and great for traveling around Southeast Asia or other adventures. The blue cover on the jib has been replaced since this photo or this video. Um, she also has a non-skid deck. Um, she's uh, registered in the United States, the U.S. Coast Guard. She's currently, April 2015, at a yard in Malaysia where we're having new antifoul uh, put on the bot on her hull. So she, the lucky new owner will have brand new antifoul. Um, she's a comfortable, great boat, ready to, to take off just as soon as somebody uh, decides to take on ownership.